Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I've got another Black Ops 3 gameplay for you all today along with a commentary. And this one is going to be a 30 and 2 gameplay on Combine. I just want to talk about the new XP edition update to Black Ops 3 on PS4. I'm not sure about Xbox One yet, but I know it's on PS4. And I want to talk about how after you reach Prestige Master, you can then level up after level 55 until level 1000. So, basically, you're going to need a small loan of a million XP to even become remotely close to that. Probably a billion XP, but, I mean, it's going to take a long time, and I'm very glad they did this. It adds a lot of more things you can do in the game now. Instead of just reaching level 55 and being done with it, which happened on Black Ops 2 because I put in like 30 days in Black Ops 2, and I was at Prestige Master for a very long time. So this is really cool because it gives you something to work to even after you reach Master. And another awesome addition you have to this is that you can have your own custom Prestige Master emblem. So you can have other ones that are from other Call of Duty games like Black Ops 1 and 2 and things like that. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Because you don't have to keep the ones from this game. You can choose whichever one you want and that's just awesome. Plus the leveling font, when you go into a lobby with someone that has this, it's actually like an orange color, so you can tell that they've reached master just by their level number, and that's a cool addition as well. But I just wanted to tell you all this, and this gameplay, man, I started out with a weird route. Instead of just running on that wall, I ran on the back side of it, and it actually worked out pretty well. I like to do that just to mess around sometimes and find different routes. But, as you can see, I hold down this one position on the rock spawn, and you may think that's camping, but honestly, it's just strategically patrolling, is what I call it. Because you're not necessarily camping in a corner where somebody's not going to see you and wait till they go by. You are patrolling an area and blocking two different areas where they could run to to kill you. But honestly, what I'm really doing is I'm going to both of those spawns. Each of those spawns, I know where they're at, so I'm waiting on them to spawn in the other area, and I just keep patrolling back and forth waiting on those spawns. That's honestly a big tip I could give you. If you play free-for-all, if you play it a lot, you'll start to learn the spawns, and you can just patrol those areas like that, and you can just basically hold it down, and it's not really camping in my opinion. Just to add in one more thing, one of my favorite guns for hardcore, now I'm not talking about core, I'm talking about hardcore, is the Razorback. I think it goes completely ham. It's like a two-shot or three-shot, but it goes off. The fire rate is perfect. I love the way the gun sounds and feels. And if you're talking about core now, that would be a different story because it takes too many bullets on core, in my opinion. Unless you're just the red Mark of J or something like that. I'm not a beast like him, so it just doesn't work out for me like that. But on core, it's perfect. As always, I really appreciate you all watching this gameplay. And if you enjoyed, please hit me with a like. And if you need that small loan of a million XP, make sure to slap me with a like as well. So thanks for watching. Peace out.